Good morning, um, students. Um, let me just resize my screen. Hang on. Okay, I have two open potty shells. Today's lesson is about um, compression and also file management and um, processes, putting processes in the background and foreground. So we will do this um, today. And um, well, the other day we talked about. Um, tar and uh, cpio um, copy input output and also the dd so just a recap tar those three are for archiving purposes so you can copy you can uh, back up a file and um, also the other day i introduced um i asked you not introduce i asked you to use gzip and bzip 2 to um use in um, in replace of tar and cpio now another thing about gzip and bzip2 they are actually different from tar um, and cpio and dd in what sense well they are actually compression tools so if you know what compression it is it compresses a file so that the file size will be a smaller file now some of you in the assignments uh, created or, or combined the two which is good but which I did not require for you to do in the assignment but you did anyway um, you can combine the two so that you can create an archive and at the same time that archive will be compressed now according to um, the notes that I've read um, bzip2 has more compression or compresses the file with smaller file size so let's just see what i have here um go to root and i have oh i don't have file right there let's see touch um, nano file one txt and let's say a quick brown box jumps over the fence okay quick brown box jumps over the fence okay then I'll save that one and I'll look at the file size it's 84 okay so if you want to archive that of course you definitely use star or CPIO but I want to compress it only so I will say gzip and um, say file one dot txt and uh, file one okay so that's it okay what it will do is it will create a compressed file of the file one.txt and at the same time it replaces that so it's not there anymore we only have file one.txt dot gz for gzipped okay so in order to uh, let me check the file and it's 74 okay for gzip 74 bytes now let's unzip that one so let's we'll use g unzip and the file oops sorry something's wrong here okay there it is so file one dot txt it's already extracted it's actually extracted earlier although I have a D there now let's try bzip 2 and then file onetxt let's try another one okay extension for bzip 2 is bz2 that's ls minus l and it's 85 now you might ask 
why is it bigger well basically it depends on what you're compressing i read that gzip compresses it depends on what you're compressing um if you're compressing an image then it's a different thing if you're compressing a text then um gzip will will do i think better work but again you had to check at the options so for example man bzip2 you have to check at the options what you have how you will how you compress those uh, those files the basic thing here is you know that um, these two files or these two programs not files are used for compression okay now combining the two which some of you had done already wait a minute let's unzip that first b unzip 2 and then file 1 and there it is now it's it's unzipped okay so to zip bzip and bzip2 those are the two commands to unzip you say g unzip or b unzip2 if you're using bzip2 as easy as that like I said, you can combine the two commands, um, which you already did. Um, some of you did. That how how do you combine these two, the commands, uh, the archiving commands and the compression commands? Well, it's very simple. So basically, let's do with the gzip first. So we'll use star, and then the first option is minus z. Now this is the case. If you add minus z or hyphen z, this tells tar that this archive will be using gzip utility or tool or command. And we add the normal options for tar, c and f. We already discussed that in the previous one. Please have a look at it man tar again. And then you specify the file dot tar dot gz now you have to specify dot gz even though you have here dot z uh, dash z you have to specify dot gz next option is which file so file one dot txt okay it's ls and there is your file okay this is the file and this is also it's an archive and also a compressed archive so you just add on the tar dash z and that's it how about b uh, bzip2 well this will be a little bit strange so use tar let's go up wait a minute let me create space and there you go the same command but you instead of dash z you just put dash j now this would be a little bit weird where did it get that from well that's the programmers and the the extension is bz2 okay so tar we're creating an archive and compression tool um bzip2 Let's ls that one and as you can see we now have um right here um the archive now again the gzip is smaller why because it's uh, probably it's because it's only text yeah but in compress those files okay now let's clear the screen so basically that's for the topic compression um, tools um, very very handy if you get yeah, the way of uh, mastering those tools first is the tar okay I'm just typing it up tar and then we also have the CPIO which relies on an input from another uh, command and also the DD which backs up files um, or partitions and we also touch bzip and also bzip2 and also we combine 
combined the two using tar minus z cf and the file name that you want to tar i mean the the, the file name that you want the, the file to be saved and the files that you want to be saved okay. uh, compressed okay so i'll see you in the next one we'll our next topic is uh, putting jobs or processes in background and foreground.